Miles, honestly, Mo, I hope you've been burgled. Man. He's in a good. He's in a good team. He's a good player. Because th- you've dis- you've disrespected him. He's a good player. We know he's a good player, but I think he's on a decline now. And I think that everything comes to an end. Everything's on the floor in his house. And the fax machine. The thing is, if he can be on a decline, I, I'm not saying that's wrong, iPad. but he's very high up. To be on a decline, he's still better than a lot of... He's yeah, top 10. taking the iPad and left the wire on the floor. Would you... Re- would you... Re- would you- <laughs> the laundry basket is next to the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, footballers listen to his music in secret, but don't tell anybody. That might have something to do with the fact that, and I want you to confirm this. I told you many, 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 many times, put your face on your artwork. Stop looking away. Stop looking at the ground. Then people won't recognize you. Did I tell you that? Tigo wants me to have my project self-titled. Oh, like Usher. So that's like Joe Budden and them, man. What, just Geordie Geordie? Why not? Yeah, just Geordie. Just out look now. at the camera. I think, every, I think every big artist has put their name on it. On their on their album or their project, Tupac or doesn't have Jay-Z. one called Tupac. Most of them. You've never. I think. Mo- I said you've most. Never, most you've never of them. heard Jay Z by Jay Z. Tupac got an album called Tupacalypse. Jay Z. Jay Z does. Jay Z does have. Yeah, but Jay Z got, got his face yeah. on it though. At least his face is there. Nah, he's looking away though, like me. Yeah, but Jay Z. What? I look away. Jay Z has never looked at like, looked at you. So when are you gonna do it, Jordy? Next album. Next album. On the Jordy album. Yeah, I'll call it Jordy as well. Fatigo. I might call it Jordy colon Fatigo. <laughs> colon. Next on the panel, Steve O, the Madman. He's been twitching. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that, I was, I was just thought twitching. What do you yeah, mean? then he just yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yes. Hey, my Uber driver had that the other day. Oh. What, Tourette's? Yeah. Oh, no, I wasn't doing the pressure of that. I was just twitching. He don't want to get cancelled at all, boy. <laughs> but yes, been twitching. Oh, I'm just trying to get into it. It's difficult, isn't it, Miles? Yeah, it is. You don't really do it that much, do you? Right. Yeah, but, but I still got the, the followers on yeah, that. But what's oh, difficult about twitching? I don't know what twitching is. There's a lot going on. The mic goes off. Like, that camera's not on, they can't hear you. Can you hear me? You're too loud. It's just like that sort of stuff. But once you get the basics, it's going to be really, really fun. All you got to do is just press live. Well, you got to spend money. You lot, you lot do it. It's because you got cheap wires and stuff. Yeah, it is. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you got him. You got him. You got him. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. My setup costs this. No, no, no. <laughs> um, Steve the Madman. King of Snap. Man with the gap. You know, we yeah, go. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. 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 Next on the panel, we got a man who is a, uh, I would say a minimum nine out of 10 performer. A maverick. When we have a guest. Yeah. I would say minimum, I, he's never less than a seven on the normal format, but with a guest, nine out of 10 a minimum. maverick. Does that mean he's showing off? Yes. He's, he's been doing a lot of work away from Filthy recently, so his momentum's high. I think he's just in a rhythm. He's got tempo. His yeah, name's Miles Fearon. It's about time, man. <laughs> about time, man. At, my, on, Miles. at Mileage yeah, UK, spelt Melage UK. Proud yeah. of him. AKA Wiles, AKA the best looking guy on YouTube, man. AKA still not acting. But you know what? With that, it's coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> Since you, you you closed the door, you know you've elevated. <laughs> what do you mean, close the door and what? Oh, the, the Nines film. Oh. Yeah, you've yeah. elevated, so maybe just stick to the small <laughs> scenes. <laughs> Next time, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Was he in it? What? what oh, one? wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good cameo, by the way, you know? It's a good cameo. It was. Next on the panel, uh, he's got a new beard. He's got a new family. His new name's family. Specs Gonzalez. New family. I yeah. thought we spoke about. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> you got twin sisters, no? Yeah, man. Uh, twin sisters. Got a brother. And Nux is my first cousin. Nux. Yeah. Nux is TJ's I like first Nux. cousin. TJ might be my cousin too. This is crazy. My dad. My oh, dad. My work? dad's side is serious, bro. Outside, you yeah. and Nux are cousins, and TJ. Yeah. That's mad. Ladder. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's good, man. Davina That's McCall. Wait a minute. Yeah. Was it Nux in Nines' film? Yeah, he, he, was. Opened, he, he closed, closed the, the door, door too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> I, 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 you might be my second cousin. Hey, <laughs> uh, Specs. Yeah. I did see you with Davina McCall. Oh, What's wow. she like? Amazing woman, man. Yeah, man. Amazing, amazing. She's yeah, a really legend, man. Legend. Did she go off the rails a bit? In her youth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and then again, yeah. I like, I proper like Davina. She's got a book out. You should read it. Yeah. Oh, is it? What's it called? Davina, Davina McCall goes yes, off the rails? Yes, it's called Davina McCall goes off the rails. Did she look at like the that. camera in the, in the, on the camera? Did she look at the camera? Yeah. We don't want to talk about her going off the rails. We'll talk about it now. Man. Oh, that was the most dumb shit. Bro. Why? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, how's it done? She put it out Because it's my friend. It's, it's my friend. Yeah. I see what it's my friend. She's done Steve bad things back in the day. She's done. She, she put it in her book, so it's out there for everyone to- Wait, when are you going to do a book? No, he's Steve doing a book. Oh, no, he's not looking at me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm Mark's on chapter 12. Book for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, when he was doing your book. book. Yeah, doing a book. Steve I nearly did a book a couple of years ago. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. Next to the panel, he sports Chelsea. Chelsea are terrible. He was oh. he was out the country when we were doing our live PSG event the other day. Yes. We were nearly 10 for 10. It's rare that we I get 10 for 10. I was in Ibiza, I'm never going back, especially with a bird. <laughs> Why? It's just not the same experience, is it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can't go shop. I'm in, I'm in the twilight of my career, I think. I'm playing very well, but I've been moved to right of a back three. Ooh. I, wait, wait, wait. I did it to myself. <laughs> you know what that means, innit? I did it to myself. We went down to 10 men. We're three nil down. I said to the gaffer, I'll change the shape. We've got to be brave if we're going to get anything out of this game. I went to right 
of a back three. I just did what Azpilicueta did in that year where he kept finding Morata. I dominated from there. I got 11 out of 11 anonymous, not anonymous. What's that word when everyone, unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> What's that unanimous, word? Guys, unanimous like... MOM. And I knew I weren't going to make it out of that back three. A midfielder in defense is too smooth. Are you sure you ain't lost your legs? Mate, they're Ooh. calling me Tiago. I ain't lost my legs. I, I hop back in. Are you being honest? But there's, a good, but there's a good midfielder that's come in that I'm happy to relieve my duties oh, in there. Okay. Got, because he can do them. It's coincidental though. He's young, isn't it? This is called being cucked. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm dominating from, from the back. Honestly, what was the end result? 7-2. Oh, of the game where we were 3-0 down. 3-3. Free, free. For Dan. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dominating from the where? Dominating from the back where I almost dominate from. There's, there's nothing why about that or anal something. Next on the panel, he's representing for Diego Maradona. Um, is it Buffy? Who, Diego Maradona? Is it? Nah, Steve, I might pick him though. Uh, oh yeah, um, <laughs> his name's Poet, Poets Corner, Poets Corner UK on all social platforms. I have nothing to contribute, man. How, how old was Maradona when he died? I'm gonna say 64. I'm gonna At that World nah, Cup, he was 59. moving crazy. crazy. I'm gonna say Nuts. 61. Good. Ooh. No, no, it's, it's 59. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was 60. It was 60. It was 60. It was 60, but it's a month. My dad's a Scorpio. Is late, is late October. October. Late October. Oh, I thought it was November. Sorry. I think Not me bad. and your dad look alike, you know? My dad and your dad. You keep saying, keep saying this. Yes, people. Steve or the Madman here. Today, I'm going to be a chef with the help of my friends from Hello Fresh. And that was a rhyme, by the way. Yeah, I'll take the sous chef. We've got Casey directing and she's a sous chef. I've been using HelloFresh for a long, long time, me and Casey. Very simple to use for simpletons like me, but it's also cost effective because I was always chucking away food, buying too much of one item, wasting, um, and HelloFresh put a stop to that. So yeah, I'm a big, big, big fan of HelloFresh. Um, but today, we're gonna be making Cumberland sausages and mash with red onion gravy, buttery peas. While I've got some water on the boil, I'm going to peel the potatoes. I think they might have probably fast forwarded this part. You can follow the instructions. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six instructions uh, until the finish to serve. So, yeah, man. I thought I would add that bit in, in case you're thinking, oh, yeah, how does Steve know the measurements of each potato and whatnot? You get me? Picking it up. You chop the potatoes up and then See? you put them in there and boil them. I'm a maverick, mate, yeah? All right, now we'll put that in the water. Well, you put the potatoes in the water. Potatoes cook on quite a high heat. I usually cook the potatoes on quite a high heat. Come on, put some oil in there. I'm probably going to put some oil in there, but I like to put the oil in after, usually. And you fry them on a medium heat, so about five or six. The potatoes are potatoing, frying the onions there, will help with my shoe chef. Super chef. Sausages are sausaging, love it. While the potatoes are potatoing, the sausages are sausaging, um, and I'm frying some onions, it's a good time to tell you to hit the QR code um, where you can get 60% off your first order and 25% off your next eight orders, yeah? It's gravy time. You're gonna add 150 millilitres of water into your fried onions. Then you add the red wine, just concentrate. So on the instructions it says um, a knob of butter, but I like a little bit more than a knob. I've never seen someone so messy when Oh, come on, Kay, that was an accident. Salt. And also, my sausages are done. So, let me get my sausages out. They look nice and brown, lovely. All done. Obviously, add a bit of gravy. Quick, easy, affordable food. Meet up HelloFresh. Make sure you use the QR code, like I said, for the first. Order 60% off, next eight orders 25% off. I'll take the crowd. Let's go. Mm. 
<laughs> we are checking back in with our top 10 centre-backs in the Premier League today. Now, we do this every year. And I think we do a good job. I think this year has been the most difficult because this season has been chaotic. The bottom five teams are bad. I don't think they've been as bad as this for many years. And that's made it hard to really judge who the good centre-backs are unless they're playing against each other, in my opinion. So quickly, I'm going to run down the top 10 from last year, voted for by us. Number 10 was Christian Romero. Number 9 was Joel Matip. Number 8 was Mark Goehe. Number 7 was Ibrahim Akanate. <laughs> Number 6 was Ben White. Number 5 was Emrit Laporte. Wow. Number 4 was William Saliba. Number 3 was Thiago Silva. Number 2 was Ruben Diaz. And number 1 was Virgil van Dijk. So the top 4, top 5, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. There's no one, there's no centre-backs at the bottom of that, that are like saying I want to go in the top 6. You know what I mean? At all. We had Ben White, you know. Centre backs are not they're not they're not stepping up. Nathan Collins is not stepping up, Jordy. No, he's not. He got he got moved to by um Everton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flipping neck. That was a bad I'm game. Now some uh, players that got votes but not enough to get into our top ten. Some players like and there's a player I really wanted to put in, he's not top ten, but I really think he's class, is uh Amin Alderkill. Yeah. He, Burnley. Yeah. I, I haven't seen him. He can't. No, I didn't. I wanted to, but he's not top ten. But he's class, though. I he's, really he's, like him. He's, he's good. At, he's good at playing at the back. He's not tall. No. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. He's good at playing at the back, though. But he's not. Yeah, I had to. I had to put a Burnley player in there. Oh, that's you. That's your doings. <laughs> I'm surprised. Christian Romero didn't make our top ten. He shouldn't. I don't. Know. Do you know what? He shouldn't. Go on. When he's good, he's good. But when he's bad, he's shocking. Because you bro. saw him. You saw him. You saw him live. So he hasn't yeah, been it's bad like, for a while. By yeah, the way. The, yeah, he makes my mistakes, but he's still. Effective. Do you know what I like about him? He's an arsehole and he's yeah. solid. Like he he's was like yeah. he was moving to. So I think was... some of the mistakes he might make as he gets older yeah. might like calm down a bit when he calms. Experience. The bit. Yeah, and he's going to end up being a hell of a player because I hated him. I've cussed him for for a couple of years. Yeah, I think he's a top player, man. He just like you said, uh, he just needs to coach them them mistakes out of him, though. Specs and. Greg backed Joe Jim Anderson. He didn't make our top 10. Who? Mm. I wanted to, you know. Yeah. Uh, ben White didn't make our top 10. Yeah. He shouldn't. No. He shouldn't. He should. shouldn't. He's not a, a centre-back now. Uh, a player who got four votes but still didn't crack it is Nayef Aguered. Oh, come on, boys. Who? He's oh, very oh. good. Very really? good. Yeah, boys. I backed yeah, him. Did. Specs backed him. Geordie backed yeah. him. Steve-O backed him. It's going to be a bad four list. Votes didn't... Um, Mickey van der Ven didn't make it. Maybe not enough evidence out there. Ha. I had him in my list. Ha. I had him in my list as well. I nearly did. I really like him, It's bro. a small sample size, really but like from him. what I saw from him, when, he looked very composed. For, for defenders, I, uh, I'm i going with name brand. I know. I, I, I could <laughs> tell. Designers, I could tell. I could yeah, tell. But, <laughs> but if you do your due diligence, you will know that he is a hell of a centre-back and very quick. I don't. You know I don't love quick centre-backs? Huh? Huh? The key on foot manager, the key. You need two, mate. Right? You need at least two, man. You, you need one with quick enough, but I'd just rather a bit more. The the player who finished 11th and didn't crack the top 10, despite having votes from Jordi, Dan, Felix and Tigo, basically the ones who know ball. What's this? Mark Gray. Oh, I voted him, I no? should be in there. Why are you waiting Mark Gray now? What do you mean now? He's got eyes. Can I come in on what this? You, what do you mean now? Nah, man, you, you're, you, bro, you're a fascist, man. <sighs> what do you mean? I had him just outside and I wanted to give him an honourable mention if you didn't give him an honourable mention, but I wasn't sure if he was going to put him in because he might have made it. I feel a little bit bad, but the list is a strong list. Brother, what is going on, bro? What is this? Some speech at the end. You didn't understand I wanna, that? I want to say something. If you'd have given him one vote, we'd have got in. He'd have got in. I'm going to ask you a question. Wanna... It was him or Gary. Gail... All right, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. So is Mark Gary better than George Anderson? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. Yes. Toy. I prefer Anderson. What? Why? Why? Uh, I think Anderson. I think, I think Anderson's a better passer, but defending that I think Gray's better defending. Anderson's good defending though. Why can't he's a good centre back, bro? Gray's good on the ball as well. Age though. on his side. I don't understand. Like you know, like now in life, you can watch any type of football on YouTube. You type it in yourself. If you tapped in Serie A and saw George Anderson at, at Sampdoria, you would know this this guy was always a good defender. So because of him there, I should vote him now. No, because uh, Gray he fought why? But did you watch him at Swansea two years ago? Uh, who? Gray? Yeah. <laughs> Wait in the championship? Yeah. T get out of there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> T, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> <Next. What's laughs> the same. We can all search stuff right, on YouTube. Right. Too bad I'm in the championship. Yeah, when he come from and do the same thing? We don't know. He went uh, he went home. Let me home. ask you a question. I'll punch up right here. Have you watched because I had to watch him. He's been Going on about him. Yeah, he watched don't him. name him. No, he. no, I watched him. He knows yeah. what he's talking about. No, so he I doesn't. watched him. Have you watched him? Who? He hasn't. He hasn't, he hasn't watched him. He hasn't watched him. Have I watched Mark Gray? Uh, don't, don't answer the question back. Yeah, I watched yeah. him before you live. 
You're asking me, you, your mirrors are off, Steven, today. Great, he's trended this year because of how well he's played. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We expected something bigger. Alright. Yeah. We're dead. We're dead. As a reaction. We're dead. We're dead though. It's about trending. It's about trending. In my opinion, he's the best English centre back. Oh wow. Oh, because he trended. Oh, best English. Look at the competition though. Look at the competition. John Stones. I think he's better than John. I don't like Stones. Stones didn't make my list. So in my list, he's probably the the only English name. Right. There you go. I can, I can Actually, Lewis Dunk. Oh, Lewis Dunk's there. Lewis Dunk. I can James go Tarkovsky? I got, I, I got, oh, that's my other on the I got Adam Webster in there. I got Tyrone Mings in there. Tyrone Mings is better than Gwehi. Tyrone Mings is cold, but no. No, he's not. No, he's not. Consa better. Who? Consa. No. No, Consa's not. Why is we going to do number 10 now? Sorry, Gwehi, buff. Say hello to me when you see me, please. Number 10. I'll punch you up. We've got a player who got votes from Lumos, Margs, Lippi, Felix, Greg, and Miles. Lewis Dunk. 100%. Top 10. I don't know, man. What do, you, what do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Don't know either. He's quality, man. Have you seen his pass completions? Have you seen the way how they're playing out the back? That's not because of him, though. That's not because of him, though. Bro, no, everything starts from Lewis Dunk. Yeah, that's not because of him, though. What do you mean that's not because of it's him? Just, it's the system. It's okay. the Zerbi. Miles, let me ask you this, brother, Mr. Noble. Does Lewis Dunk get into the Man City team? No. But they wanted him, mean, though. Even as they wanted him, though. One of the four centre backs. Yeah, he can. I think he can. He could yeah. do what John. Sto- I think he could do what John Stones is doing. You're going too far. Going You're too not far. what John Stones is doing. No. You're going too far. That he would have. He would have asked to do Chill. that. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Your mouth, bro. Okay, Akanji then. Oh no! Oh, Akanji goes left back. But Akanji's cold. Akanji's but Lewis, good. What Lewis Duncan and Akanji. Diaz? Akanji. Yes. Yes. No chance. Yes. What do you mean, oh, no chance, bro? Lewis Dunk has if got. If there the was a football in this show, you wouldn't say this, brother. He's got the most pass completions at, in, out of all the top um, um, centre backs in the Premier League. Everything, everything from Brighton starts from him. The manager's built around him. The goalkeeper's got more passes than him. No, no, that's fine. Still, it's no, got he, more he passes. Does it, than does it, he does it. He does it. He does it. Last season, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Lewis Dunk was number one. The thing you got to rate about Lewis Dunk is that that's come at late in his career. This is a guy that came from League Two, League One, Championship, Premier League. He's been backs against the wall centre back, aerial centre back, uh, ball playing centre true. back. He's, tough. Pitch centre he, back. he's yeah. reliable. He could do all of it. He's been there for too long. I know you've said that they can. He can do all of that. I think all defenders in this list, at least, should be able to do all of that in football today. You think Rafael Varane could play in the Champions? He's League? not in my list. Okay, but he's in a list. Varane playing the where? Champions League. You said Championship. Yeah, I, I, I hate him. I think he's rubbish. Even though the championship is a lot closer to the prem now than than it ever has been, I I just don't, I don't, I don't know, man. There are some players, there there are some footballers that are in this list that you could send them back to play at Forest Green and they'll have a decent season there as well. Like that's I feel like defenders. Trentini just bagged a hat trick over there and they lost. And they so lost. they need a defender from this list. Lewis Dunk, perhaps, just outside. Go down to Forest Green, see if you could do it there. Bro, and then Forest Green? Lewis like Dunk? when Saul Campbell went Notts County. Oh, I like wow. that. But he played one I game and said, nah. At that level, it's kind of what you want at that age. When was the last a... time we saw an absolute stinker from Lewis Dunk? Or anything, a blunder coming from Can him and into a goal? There definitely has been. I've seen him do some awful... They just conceded whoa, 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 whoa. three to eight K Athens the other day. And bro, the reason <laughs> you're not noticing it is All because right, cool. he's And Van Dijk got sent off the other day. What Listen, bro, they won. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> won. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's still got sent off. He had a blunder. I'm saying, I'm saying, Lewis Dunk. There, there hasn't been a time where we've seen. You don't seen notice it. Of course, there's. Of course, we notice it. You don't notice it. Bro. Of course, of course, no, we do. You don't. Bro. No, you don't we need do. To bang bro. the table. I do. He's not listening. He is not listening. Do you know what is? Do you know, do you know what is? I'm happy. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm content with Dunk being tenth. I mean, I'm, I'm right. However, right. I just feel like if Dunk move, if Dunk move to United. I don't feel like he would. It's another United Harry defense. Maguire. That's not fair, though. You said United. No, their coach is rubbish. But so he's you're still saying a he defender. needs a coach. He's still. Huh? Everyone needs a coach. Everyone mm. needs a coach, bro. Mm. <laughs> 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 hey, you don't know ball. You don't know ball. Specs go. You think Saliba needs a coach? Saliba's mm. coach was Kylian Mbappe's we'll dad, we'll right? We'll get there. Kylian we'll Mbappe's dad coach. We'll Saliba can improve my. Duncan almost went Chelsea. Remember. He almost went Chelsea, remember? It was Dunk, yeah. Oh, we'll get there. Uh, is there a reason, before we move on, that he's such a good defender, all these teams, top teams, need a centre-half, but no one's gambled on him? He almost went Chelsea. Yeah, he keeps signing new deals. Almost, big doesn't teams count, as Brandy yeah, said. Right? In, yeah, he got the deal. If a team bids a new 40 deal. million for you, like I think Leicester did and I think Chelsea did, and then the club reject it, and then the club go, look, we're rejecting it, but here's an extra 30 bags a week. Cool, man. Don't worry about me. I'm Steve-o, comfortable. He's, Steve-o, he's plan. He's plan B. He's plan C. <laughs> <laughs> he's plan C. He's a plan B defender. When you want to buy a centre back and you can't get him, you go for yeah, Lewis Dunk. With, with that being said, why would he move from Brighton right now anyway? Because they're playing. You say right now. This is the last five years, bro. Yeah, he's been he, there for he's, thirty he's, years. He was right the whole way through, though, wasn't he? He was right not to join Chelsea. He was right not to join exactly. Leicester. And look what's happened now. 
And he was playing good football under Graham Potter as well. So he's, he's a good baller. He's a good footballer. Right. He's a good yeah, centre baller. Yeah. Number nine on our list got votes from Lumos, Hi from Margs, Steve-O, Dan. Dan did pick him. He said he didn't. Raphael Varane. Nah. Never. never. <laughs> Not for me, man. <laughs> Name brand. Margs forced him into this list, by the way, by having him as the third best centre back in the oh, league. Of course. You know what? what? I just thought to myself, I'm looking through the list. And maybe I got, I'm a prisoner of his past trophies. You are, you always are, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I could not put him on the list. Why? Like, it's Varane, man. Nah, so? His performances at Manchester United, irrespective of what he's done at Real Madrid, is that, which is great, he done that? His nah. performances at Man United, for me, ter- they're See not good Johnny enough. what Johnny Evans looked like when he came in. Yeah, Quality. Quality. I never had a centre back look like that. Like Johnny Evans' left foot is better than Varane. Are we going to get a my bad for him or what? No, he, no, he didn't face a striker at Burnley. Look, it wasn't the hardest game in the world for him. But he's, but you see what a centre-back for Manchester United should be. A progressive, like, spatially aware, like, command of his box, command of his line, aerially just knocks everything away. Has he got that for fouls, 50 games? Everything. No, probably not. But has Rafael Varane? Yeah. No, I don't no. think Rafael Varane's got another 50 games in him. In his career, he's just injury prone, and he's lo- and he's lost a yard of pace. And for a man that's, that's got so much experience and played at the highest level, when I watch him play centre back and he has the ball, I never look. Com- I don't feel. Face his technique, bro. He looks a bit shaky when he's on the ball, but he's not. He can't Evans be. the other night, okay, he wasn't playing against a striker. Evans looks confident, so confident on the ball, like that Van der Veen that didn't make the list as well for Spurs. Every minute he was put on, he put under pressure. He looks confident. Varane for me, for a player of that calibre. Not good enough. I don't think that's he's fair. He's been man. at Madrid, yeah, and he's played there under the most extreme pressures. He's had to play out from the back. He's done all of that. France yeah. as well. Yeah. He just looks like that. He can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying he, he don't. Long, I'm but not he looks saying, nervous. But I agree. He with looks though. nervous. He does, I don't feel not, confident. And in a Man United defense right now, the last thing you want is a man coming in the back line looking nervous. I've just been very unimpressed. If he was that good, uh, you, like, Man United would be better for me. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. But he's, just, he's just that macho man jacket. In, you know when you're in Selfridges, when you see that jacket that just, it's got stars, it's got wires hanging Javonchi out. thing. It looks terrible. You look at the price, it's four bucks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Wow. Analysis. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Analogy. Maguire wouldn't even be a conversation. They wouldn't even be conversating about other centre-backs if Varane was good enough. But he's not. I don't think he's good enough, man. Not good enough. It's like on his knees. If you, have, if you have a player of that reputation in your team, then... I don't think David De Gea is under as much pressure as he was. And I don't think well, Onana's under sheets. as much pressure as he was. Yeah, but now then you've changed the goalkeeper, the clean sheets are gone. So you, be, you mentioned De Gea though? Because, 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 because... Onana's a horrid keeper. David De Gea was the one getting the clean sheets. I mean, he's got something to do with it, no? no? Uh, does he though, does he? That's I'm, I've never I've never watched a Rafael Varane Man United performance and thought, that's a... He had one. He had, I remember he had one last year. Who I was think it was in the Champions League. He's Colo Tour. He's, he's just, for me, he's all over the place. No technique. And he always has to chase his mistakes. Mm. How do you get to that level, though? Technically, he's not bad. That's why I like slow defenders. Has he got worse, hey, man? Top 10, man. He's lucky. He's always fit. He's always fit. He's always fit, Steve. He's not always fit. No, uh, uh, we'll talk about the Real Madrid for Okay, oh, right. well, top 10. Anyway. He had to work his way to get in that Real Madrid team. So he had to battle to yeah, get in. Yeah, but he played, he played next to a dog. Who did Veron move? He played next to Ramos, man. Played Ramos. No, right, he played with Ramos. So he moved Pepe then? He moved and Pepe, Pepe was old. Pepe's so great. He was still, lucky. Pepe's still great, by the way. Pepe's still great. He must have went on for another seven years after Pepe. He's had a lucky career, bro. I don't think he's a lucky career. Well, he's top 10, mum. I just think Man United. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't try it. He's top 10. Number eight. Number eight on our list. <laughs> Number eight on our list got votes from PK, Lumos, Lippi, Jordi, Felix, Greg, Miles, and Tigo. Uh, if I tell you that Miles and Lumos had him highest, you'll know who he plays for. Gabriel. A what? And he's eighth. I don't know. Wow. I'm not gonna. I'll leave you lot to talk about it. Well, no, you you picked him What's high, so it's for you to talk about. What's going on? You think he should be high or? You think he should be low? You should. You should be lower. I put a lot of city players, right? I think all this, like what I'm saying, Gabriel doesn't get above any of them. Yeah? Yeah, what? of course he does. You know he's eighth right now. I don't Ake. Yeah. Yeah, he's better than Ake. I would, I would no, no, he's not. He's better than Ake. Yeah. Ake's he's gold. Whoa. He's more dependent on Ake. Listen, a lot of them centre backs are good because of Pep Guardiola, you know. Like John Stones don't look like that outside of that no bloody way. Man no City way. team. He looked no like that way. at Everton, bro. No, he did not. <laughs> look me in my eyes. I'll take my glass. Look me in my eyes and tell me that, you liar. After he was crying <laughs> in one game off the bench against Barnsley or something at Rio Ferdinand's having to phone him and take care of him. Please, bro. 
This guy is Shut lying. up, Poet Liar. Dickhead. Put your glasses back on. I think the Man City thing is always going to be difficult to know how to rate those players. You just have to believe the, what you know and just put everything else to the side. When it comes to Gabriel, I think he's very, very good. And I think when I watch the North London derby, I see so much of why people think he's not good. And it's because of that left back. The way he has to play two positions to cover the fact that left back just the ball just moves through him. Yeah. It's like he's a, a he's against tackling or against big him. facts. <laughs> big facts. <laughs> when um Kulusevski has the ball, it's, him and Zinchenko would swap places, yeah. and um Gabriel will have to meet him. But how does Zinchenko look so good under Pep? No, because he's good on the ball. He's always been bad off the ball. Yeah, he's he, always on, been bad off the ball. He ain't been that great. He's never been that, the best. Could I just say to? To end, I just still want to say, by the way, I heard what you lot said. Ake for me is still better, in my opinion, I would than have Gabriel. Him, yeah. I think he's more solid. Like, you need to talk about consistency and solid. I'm like, whoa. Pep would have Gabriel. 100%. When it comes to like jewels and, and, and a passes, threat in the box, nah. tackles, nah, nah, nah. wins There's, every He's not draw. a bigger threat, threat in the box than Gabriel. Gabriel. I love like, it. You're talking about Gabriel. You're talking about Gabriel. Well, about Gabriel no. Gabriel's, is more of a threat in the box. For us, he scored, he's, he scored the most goals, I think, if top three centre backs last season. double the games that guy plays. That was a made up stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's he a fact. Goals, what do you mean? What do you mean? I can bring up the stats. He is an Arsenal connoisseur. It's a fact, bro. It's a fact, bro. I believe he scored a lot of goals. I say top two, if not top three. Even last season, Miles, you'll remember this the Fulham game. Now, usually, Gabriel makes a mistake and I'm fuming oh, no, with this no, guy. Sorry, he made a mistake in the Fulham game, ends up getting the winner at the end of it. So, like, those types of qualities mentally, I Resi- like you know as well. The fact that you don't lose your that's head cool in resilience. the game. That's called what? Resilience. I like that, bro. That's important. It's the number one back. rule to be in the Prem, I'd say you've got to have a bit of resilience. I'm not sure, man. Standard. He does. But they don't, though. I'm not sure. And he's come from France, I you know. Should should have, I'm be. saying, yeah. Gabriel's come from France. Terrible league for centre-backs, so. My colleague, Loomis, has passed me the phone. And said? Yeah, he's got more. Yeah, exactly. He's also got five yellow cards, yeah, mate, he's Gabriel. he's got 14 clean sheets and Ake, Ake's got six. He didn't so play as much, goals? bro. How many goals he got? How many goals? Uh, three goals. Is that the most? I don't know if that's the most, but it's three goals. Bro, how many centre-backs yeah, score? Well, well, centre-backs don't score a lot of goals. If you're centre-back well, scoring three goals for you in a season, that's not too bad. I tell Terry, you, Terry, Ivanovic. It's yeah. not to play down Ake, by the way. Ake's years, cold, but just Ake's not I can't believe we're doing how many goals on the centre-back Thank you. That'd be just thought by him because he's saying he brought You brought that. You brought that. I didn't bring goals. You said you fret in the box. He said fret in the box. Hang on, hang on. I was listing off stuff, then he... Jump yeah, on and, that and, part of it. No, and Poet said you've then, just... Then started saying top and, three and goals. And then so Poet just said you've listed Gabriel, basically. You said no. And I said yes, because he scores goals. He does score so goals. Who it? We're staying you behind after school. You said offensively. That one, yeah, you said that okay, table. offensively. I was just naming off ball, attributes and, and you stuck said, on that one. And then Poet said and you've just basically, the the you just basically named Gabriel. And I said he scored the most goals out of the Question, and this is... I think there is this big hypothetical thing in the world that no one knows the answer to, right? When Mikel Arteta, Sanjuri and Timba, was he planning to A... Drop Zinchenko. Zinchenko. B, no. B uh, play him right, move Sally, uh, Ben White back inside, or C, play him in the centre ahead of G- uh, Gabriel. Because Gabriel spent the first three games on the bench. Yeah, I thought it, it was that because one. Because the first one, obviously, well, people say uh, there was, it was Saudi, Saudi was um, lurking around Gabriel, and it? So that doesn't mean you keep him out of the team. No, but, I, okay. no whatever Arteta done, he done in it. Fair enough. But Do when you it, think he brought, brought, brought in? No, no let, let me learn. Oh, relax, <laughs> relax, 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 relax. No, no, chill, relax. Because when we played, when we played in a preseason, it was Saliba, yeah. Gabriel, yeah. Timber, yeah. and Ben White. And yeah. Timber was playing left center, left um, left back, yeah. and he was inverted. Yeah. And then he did it. He could do it with right back when Ben White as well. So Timber was going to play both sides. Gabriel and, and Saliba was always going to be. When Timber comes back, backs. what happens? He play, he could play left back. What because does, he inverts no, what good. does happen? Zinchenko comes out of the team, if anything. If you're questioning the team selection situation, in preseason, Kai Havertz didn't play that position once. First game of the season, also, he's playing that position. So when it comes to Arteta and choosing sides, I don't know what he's doing. He played up front, he played him on the wing. When I went to America to watch them, he was playing up front, I think. So, oh, like, I I, my thing is, I just don't know how Gabriel's eighth on this list, uh, list and he was, one of, he was one of the best pairing centre backs last season with Arsenal. Number seven on our list with votes from PK, Lippy, Steve Dan, Specs, and Tigo. I don't know how the others don't have him in there. I know talking. the team's bad, but let's Thiago Silva talking. is still Thiago let's Silva. Let's start talking. He's top two, bro. How the hell is he in that list? What did he just say? How's how? he in that how? list? How? What's he? You're boy. sick. No, wait, wait a minute. Cold. Wait, boys. Wait, man. Right, let's go. Let, let Miles go. go. Thiago Silva. No. You don't know nothing. You better bro. land. So you're saying Gabriel's better than Thiago Silva? Yeah, of course. Right now, of course he is. Why? Why not? What's Thiago doing he's in the back? Why? There's no because why. What's Thiago not? done? Thiago Silva in the back four is getting exposed left, right, and well, centre. He's not getting exposed left, right, and centre. That's not true. <laughs> you guess. You just guess. Things. He's been getting. He's been getting. 
He, he just said he hasn't been getting exposed it's, left he right hasn't. Where? because he has what was he doing at the back end of last season how many games you've won like three games since 2023 centre backs are supposed to win games on their own brother he has been getting exposed you're not meant to lose them though are you yeah. Chelsea's well, been losing happen. games that will happen yeah exactly Maybe you but need they're Gabriel's losing they've lost more games than they've won year. and he's a part of that is Gabriel, if Gabriel was at Chelsea things won't be like this B- probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I w- no, I'm not even being biased. Tiago Silva and Saliba, boys. Picture Tiago it. Tiago Silva and his Arsenal team Shut now. Up, man. I wouldn't swap him for, Ge- for Gabriel. Hundred percent. No, I hear that. I, I hear that. No, I wouldn't swap him. Would, he's thirty years old. I hear that. Shut up, man. Is he better than Gabriel passing out the back? Miles, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. He's better than him at passing. He's at everything. He's better than him. Okay, cool. This thirty-eight-year-old man is big. okay. Cool. Yes. 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 No, no. Right now he is. He's a legend. I'm not saying he's not good, but this is this is going back to your selfishness. This is when you go to the vintage part of the fucking no, football. No, 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 and you look no, at a leather jacket and say, this leather jacket's oh, it's, no, oh it, it looks rusty and dusty, but when you check the, the label, it's Gucci and it costs eight no, bags. No, but you no, put no, it back wait. though. No, you could, the leather jacket Dazzle was wearing. You can appreciate good stuff when it was good, but it's vintage. Chelsea are hard watch in a lot of ways, but they do keep a lot of possession. They do work the ball all right. And they do have Enzo Fernandez with zero goals and assists this year. Yeah. Um, but wow. Uh, Thiago Silva is always Thiago Silva. I've never seen him it's not a book. beat. I've never he's seen him he's not in beat. a back four. He's not been getting exposed at all. We just can't score. In a back three, you really see him. But and he attacks anyway. man on social media. And can we talk some about some of his qualities? How great he is on the ball. Oh, ridiculous. Very composed. Ridiculous. 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 And this isn't for you, Mars. You just no, no, listen. I'm, 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 I'm not saying he isn't. I'm not saying it. And you lot are saying he's a great defender, colossus of a man. But why is he still leaking goals and his team's losing? No, he's not. It's not his fault though. I'm watching him clear it off the line. I'm watch, We're not leaking goals. Like, we're, so we're, we're not getting. We're not leaking goals. How many games have you won this season? Goals. How many just, games have you won this season? Football's just punishing us right now. We should be three 0 up, but it's nil nil. Teams have life. How hey, many games they they've won? This I, I can't believe you disrespected Thiago Silva, bro. How many games they've won this season? They've won one. You should be burped. How many have they lost? Now. And how many have they come lost? On, this uh, come on, man. Three, they've lost more than three, they've won. Four. Yeah, exactly. They've Lose lost more than they've back losses than they've won. is not like a statistic that defines the quality of a centre back. Miles, honestly. Mo, I hope you've been burgled. Man. He's in a good. He's in a good team. He's a good player. Because th- you've dis- you've disrespected him. He's a good player. We know he's a good player, but I think he's on a decline now. And I think that everything comes to an end. Everything's on the floor in his house. And the fax machine. The thing is, if he can be on the decline, I, I'm not saying that's wrong, iPad. but he's very high up. To be on the decline, he's still better than a lot of. He's top 10. He's taken the iPad and left the wire on the floor. Would you. Re- would you. Re- would you re- <laughs> <laughs> the laundry basket is next to the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> If, you know what? If Gabriel was watching this, he would, he would disagree with you. Yeah, it's, it's, he was, it's, yeah. he's the book that we learn off. Yeah, bro. And to be that age still. and still be playing at that level. Yeah, what, of course. What what he's he's lost, of course. What he's lost in pace, he's got, up, up, got it up there now. 100%. It's a shame Chelsea are ruining the last years of his career, let's be honest. Yeah. No hairline problems. He looks good, bro. He doesn't get to Spurs either. Huh? Pardon? <laughs> I don't, Spurs, I don't, you could classify them as a top team. That's you. That's your, don't talk to you me about Spurs. You can't beat them. Huh? We didn't lose to them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, someone just get this guy out. Spurs beat them, and I said he could get into their team. So don't talk to me about Spurs. Yeah. Well, how about number six on our list, who could be a player who's better than Thiago Silva, according to PK, Margs, Lippy, Stevo, and Miles? He probably is. It's John Stones. No what? chance. No chance. No you look way. crazy. I like John mate. Stones, but I, I think, do, man. I think it's, everyone's so carried away about John Stones. It's that Champions League final where he played DM. Everyone's just forget the DM, bro. You could play. You could play centre back. Am I the only one on the table that's voted for me? No, no, Miles is beside you as well. Oh, he's oh, a you big boy. Miles, Miles defender. Did, of course, I know. You, I know did, football. Don't say Miles sorry, did. Where did you have him? You don't know. You don't have a Scooby, man. Steve, where did you have him? High or low? Second. Nah, he's what? not that high. He's not that high. I had him second. You had him second. You, you, you did. You did seem to make it a point to have every Manchester City player. You got in John Stone five. second. No, no, I would have put him. I was trying to think who else is in there. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 that Gabriel's better, not me, in my opinion. So you can have your opinion, what but I think, I think he's here? better. Stick to John Stones. I'm not comparing him to John, John, John Stones. John Stones is unbelievable. You think he's the second I, I, best I, I, in the league? He's changing his story. He's changing everything. He, cha- he didn't even know he put him there. You think he's the second best defender in the league? Yeah. And the best English he, back. He has, to, he has to stick to it now. He's better than Virgil van Dijk. Is that what you're going to say? You think John Stones not playing for Manchester City is the second best centre back in the league? I think John Stones, who plays for Manchester City, that's what I'm judging him on. Is the best centre back, second best centre back in the objective. Let's yeah. open the floor up a little bit and just say, okay, we can analyse his abilities, analyse his temperament, all those things that, and he's class. He's on the ball, fantastic. I don't think he's a good centre back. I don't think he's a top ten centre back purely in the league. You put him on, let's say, uh, Brighton's team, or let's say you put him in West Ham's team. 
or Everton's team where he come from. Okay, but he wasn't top 10 at Everton. Yeah, yeah, years ago. You're talking about a man that's hardly under pressure, though. <laughs> know? So you, you don't think he's a better player than he was then? I think he's a better player than he was then, yeah. yeah. But he wasn't I, top I did, 10 I, then. I think I know what's happened here. This, I was shocked when I, when I learned when that Varane was in my uh, list. I wasn't expecting it. No, no, he's, he loves John Stones. He, he, loves John he was Stones. shocked to have him second. second yeah, 100%. No, and now no, we no, have to Steve, Steve legit loves... I remember 2016 when we saw him in Paris and he That's did that. That's my guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? But uh, once can I go again? You keep saying seven years ago. That's the called consistency. That's what makes you a top player when you stay at the top for seven years, Dan. I, I'm not moaning that he's in your list. I consider him. I'm saying you put him second. Do you know I back Steve a bit here, though? Because when I actually watched John Stones here, nothing's actually changed. So that football, you know that the way he's he plays? The same, yeah. He's the same. He was doing it at Everton. So he, he's like the system when you think about it. Yeah, well, except, you know except he plays DM now. What do you mean? It's no, but T, he doesn't, does no, T, doesn't, T, again, that, that's not DM though. When, I, I think John Stone's on the ball, we all know he's good. That's why he can play. He's a midfielder playing in defence essentially, yeah? As soon as you ask him to defend, I'm not saying he can't you do don't, it. He doesn't but, get but asked to defend. He doesn't get asked to defend much, but every now and then he does. But Dan, it's not his Brother, you watch them it in the Champions League. Is. That is not how they play. That is not how teams beat team, teams. Beat them on the counter. That is the only way you beat Man City. But he's, he's no, Man but he's, crazy, his defensive bro. duties have improved, though. Yeah, Ma massively improved. Specs, be honest. At Manchester City, how much defending do you really have but to I do? I watched him eight years before that poet. And, and that's saying, why he's John going to Stones at uh, Aston Villa or John Stones at uh, not the same. A different, Nowhere near. You're what? not getting that John Stones you see at Manchester City under pressure consistently. John Stones could have been that. Callum Chambers. In to a your, different timeline. To, to your go, to your, you go too far. No, but I see where he's coming bad, from, that's bro. A bad, that's, nah. that's a bad take. He wasn't. He's 50, kip jo 50, he's 50 cap John Stones, Champions League, six titles. Yeah, that's a bad Champions take. League final, he was playing DM. But a centre-back, it doesn't matter, up, it does matter though. We're doing top up. 10 centre-back list. What, what was it, Play, was it did he play for England? Where did he play his last game for England? It doesn't England matter. What, doesn't do matter. England do? Okay, what doesn't do England do? What do England do? You rate England. What do England do? What do England do? It doesn't matter. What are you doing? doesn't matter. What are you doing? you doing? Like he didn't have an eight year career before they play he went high, there. They played Harry Maguire more time. Eight years yes. before that. Yeah. Yes. yes. See, yeah, Kaka so I watched him eight, eight years before, before that. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're kind of like he's just been at City for the last two years, no, bro. No, I'm not. I watched no, him I'm at not. Barnsley. Oh, I watched him at okay. Everton. Yes. Improve, improve, improve. What number was he at Barnsley, Steve? Where he can go. What number was he at Barnsley? I don't know. But he can go <laughs> into <laughs> midfield. He can go into midfield easily. Then in midfield, I ex, in midfield, he looks he's great. In he looks mad. That's where I'm at. Deal with it. You lot have put Gabriel in your top 10. I think it stinks. But we agree, let you go, disagree to disagree. No, we're here no, to disagree. Yeah. That stunk as we're well. Here, we're here to disagree hollow, loudly, Steve-O. Don't, yeah, don't ever yes. let this table confuse you into thinking it's okay to be wrong. It's not. All right, let's agree. We are here to disagree let, very uh, loudly. All right, let's, all right, let's step by step. John Stones is the best English defender. Disagree, Mark Gray. There you go. <laughs> but T. <laughs> all right, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <Thank, laughs> he got confused. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> seriously, are you not saying where he's better than Stones? No, no. Yes. Huh? No one's saying oh, that. As a defender, yes. But it's, it's close. I think there's No a, there's one in football there. would say that. I think as a defender, yes. No, no, no. But Stones is def defending no, now, though. I think you, uh, every game where he's actually been asked to defend a lot of the game, Stones isn't. So like he has to concentrate for the moments, the five Which is harder, bro. It is a bit harder. What we knew of John Stones at Everton and what we knew of John Stones in the early days at Man City was... Concentration, it lapses. Now there is a system where there is four centre backs around him. He is in the most cushioned central defensive Don, deal you will ever Grace, have a player's you, career. Grace, 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 what we know man. about him was concentration. Four years on, he's now got concentration. No, I, I, I don't think he's got concentration. No, I, you I, don't I, know I, I, that I, just, I, I think he should be in this list. I it's good. Yeah, in, I, I get. I, I get. I'm not. Get, I'm not against him in the list. I just. I think he's overrated as a defender because of the situation he's in. But he's still quality. He's still class. He's still Pep's number one, like, but whatever. I don't even use Pep's number one. Like, I, I see Laporte and Diaz centre-backs. Number three. I, I seen a Kanji play in there. Listen, I, I don't see Stones as a priority. When he was fit, he played, bro. I hear you, man. It's hard to, it's hard to pick City players. It's hard. It's hard. Right. It's, it's very, very hard. Very difficult with City players. I don't think I did pick Stones is number one centre-back at Man City. I would never think that. Do you think the manager's gonna kick you out for all this? Oh, so you know who done it then, Jack? There is a big conspiracy at play here. Number five, and this will be interesting. This is this is this is the most interesting one so far. It's got votes from PK, Lumos, Margs, Lippy, Jordi had him highest with Specs, Antigo, Greg and Miles had him, Sven Botman. Are you telling me John Stones is better than Sven Botman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I do. But Defe Sven Botman defending is cold. No. Defending no. Without him, they're not in the Champions League. Without him, by the way, is when um, 
they faced Brighton and got moved to. to. Dan Byrne. <laughs> Dan Byrne was... His, yeah, yeah, I tried yeah. my hardest to stay away from every... Yeah, he did put him in every Newcastle player. Why? I just, I'm just trying to refuse to acknowledge them right now. Why? They're, they're good and I don't know if they should be. No, Sven Botman no, is good. Sven good. No, not just him. I'm saying the whole team. Okay. I, I don't want to put any Newcastle list in any player in any he's, list. I think he pay, plays a key reason. Like, key, like He's one of the reasons why Newcastle are, have done well. 100%. He's steady. He concentrates. P- players don't like playing against him. When, when Ferguson saw that he weren't there, Ferguson said, I'm getting a hat-trick today. And he got the hat-trick. Didn't he, didn't Lille sell Gabriel to Arsenal, then buy Sven Botman? That's right, yeah. And then Botman went so to look, Newcastle. So who's, who, who, is Botman better than Gabriel? Yes. Okay, Miles? It's whatever. What do you whatever. mean it's whatever? <laughs> it's a show. I'm asking you a question. Be direct with me. I'm not your age, bro. Like, come on, man. No, no, he's not. He's not better than Gabriel, no? no? But I know, but I think Sven Botman, as a defender, and like you said, what he's done for Newcastle yeah. and put them to the next level, yeah. And that's the reason why I didn't put someone like Thiago Silva in my list because he should be doing that for Chelsea. But you got someone like Botman that's doing the that Champions for the for next Chelsea. level. Yeah, uh-huh. what are you talking about? But I'm t- we're talking about now, though, bro. You're going years back. Is this list now or was it five years ago? So you're saying that Thiago Silva should be doing the same thing Botman's doing? Yeah, for Chelsea. For because Chelsea, Chelsea and Chelsea should be climbing. Th- yeah, because with all got, the changes Chelsea have been doing, but Chelsea, with all the players changing. Have, does Chelsea have better players? Does Chelsea have arguably a better Chelsea coach? Chelsea keep changing their do players. They? Do they? I, I said arguably. Do, do they, they have they? a better do coach? They? Do they? You tell me. Do they have? Is Gallagher better than Bruno G? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a toss up. Do they have better players or do they not? Yeah, I think they do have individual better I players. I don't know. Chelsea, I don't yeah. Know. I don't know about this one. No, 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 no. The only reason why it looks good now because because obviously um, uh, their manager has got them playing in the system, um, Newcastle. So they look better than Chelsea right now. Yes, Chelsea has all the attributes. They have everything to do that. But Sonali, Bruno, Trippier. Pope's a better keeper. Trippier's oh. more no, than James. Who's got better players now? Uh, Newcastle and Chelsea. It's arguably it's, it's, it's a toss up. Wilson. It's a toss up. Toss up. But it's a, it's toss something up. Who's better, Isak? Go no. Give us a 50 yeah, right us now. 50/50. A Chelsea Newcastle toss up. Go. Okay, let's 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 go. Reese James or Trippier? Yeah, but Reese James is never there. No, 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 no. I'm going for No, no, cool, 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 cool. Go on, go on. Give me. It's got to be six at least. Reese James. Reese James. Reese James. Okay. What centre backs do you want? I'm having Thiago Silva and Botman. Okay, Probably cool. Botman. Yeah. Left uh, back. The left back. Chilwell. Chilwell. Oh, okay. so it's, it's a toss up between Chilwell and. Chilwell over Dan Burn. No, it's a, it's a toss up. He said Chilwell. Chilwell over Dan Burn. Okay. Midfield. Okay. Midfield. 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 Bruno. Bruno. We've got Casado in there. Casado. Bruno. 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 Bruno for Kase- me. Casado. Bruno goes in there for me. Bruno. Go, he can no, you can't. Tonali. <laughs> Tonali. Tonali. They've got Lavia. Tonali. They've got Enzo. Tonali. That's fine. Tonali or Enzo. They've got Enzo. Enzo, Lavia. And and Casado. Chelsea team's it. better, They're man. Wait, you got They're Bruno go- out. But back to Botman. Back to Botman. Botman for me, boss centre back. Boss centre back. Is what he better than Thiago what? Silva? No. No. What country is he from, T? Uh, he's not, but he's a high. Belgium, he's Dutch. Collins. No, Dutch. Belgium? Dutch. Dutch. Is he? Dutch. Is he better than Thiago Silva, Specs? Who? So when, no one's better than Thiago. No one's. Is he better than Thiago Silva? No. He's not. Not yet. Okay. But, but for me, Thiago Silva is the is the one they're learning off. No, no, I get oh, it. Football manager, there's TUT, means tutoring. No, He's I the one that should be teaching all these young guys. I get it. His brain's there. His brain's there. Is that saying his, his Central C better than Mega Man? He's good. You can't tell me that. He's there. Botman, He's Botman's off. one of those ones that would play for any team in the league. Central C better than Mega Man. Yeah, <laughs> Central C's got a mansion, I get it. But come on. If it wasn't for Mega Man, there's no Central C. Flipping hell, bro. He's falling off. It's a good point. <laughs> it's a good point. And do you know what's so crazy? That makes perfect sense. But you know, it doesn't make perfect sense because Mega Man's better than Central C right now. Like, Diggity's not better than Bushkin. <laughs> I, don't, I think there's a space for, cent- for Central C. <laughs> <laughs> there's a space for Central C or wherever. I don't know where. Um, Sven Botman could play for any team in the league. Yeah. Yeah. I think they. I think it was a mistake. Teams made a mistake letting him go to Newcastle. A bit stiff for me, but he's good still. I like a stiff centre-back. He's centre a centre-back. Yeah, he's centre. old school. He's a bit throwback. <laughs> 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 Number four on our list got votes from PK, Lumos, Lippi, Stevo, Jordi, Dan, Spex, Greg Antigo, this is where we start getting to the nin unanimous. Miles didn't pick him, Marks didn't pick him, Felix didn't pick him. Manuel Akanji. How can you not pick Akanji? Miles, your list, Miles, your list is f- f- it's, it's formication in me. It's formication in me right now. No Akanji, no Thiago Silva. <laughs> <laughs> no top 10 center backs. No Akanji, no Thiago Silva. You are Arsenal through and through. Bro. I'm Arsenal through and through. There's only two Arsenal center backs that made it. And rightfully so, they're top 10. Boys, so Akanji Kanji is fantastic. He's my favorite one, you know. Yeah. yeah. He's better. 
He's the best he's one, my right? favorite. I don't know if he's the best. He's yeah, he's my favorite. He's my favorite. And he can go left back, do a job. He's unbelievable. He can go center back, do a job. And Pep came out and said he wants full backs that can defend, defend. So when I saw Kanji there, I was like, yo, this guy's a real defender. Came in center back, same job. His temperament is a one. Perfect. It's perfect. He's a good centre back. He almost I, seems I, like I he's probably missed it. Not, he doesn't know good, he's playing at the level he's playing just at. Put he one just hand up. so calm. We've got someone that's going to put a hand up. <laughs> Why not one mistake Champions League no, final? No, 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 no. My list is my list. I, I probably missed it. That's what it's my list. But Man City's got like a million centre backs, so I only picked I only picked two. No, I'm not, there's no my bad. I know he's that good. But Stones, because he's you could don't be know he's that well. good because you didn't put him in your yeah, top but Stone, ten. But I put Stones in there. He says Stones are better than Kanji. Like you said, there's a million centre backs. They all do good. So who who do you pick? Yeah. There's only you, one you standout. Only, you, and that's what the thing about Man City. I genuinely think it's a case of a. It's what you like. Yeah, it's a. Toss but up. also, it is about going. Okay, just try and reduce everything to. What would that guy do at Villa? What would that guy do at Tottenham? What would that guy do at? Because because it's hard because City play. Four centre backs. They have five world class centre backs. Let's be clear. Josco Gavardio is twenty first on our list. That's probably just because of lack of exposure. He's a baller. This is a great centre back. We're talking about. You know, I haven't seen him once. What do you mean? Yeah, for I City, haven't I haven't seen him. Yeah, he played one league. Uh, he came on for a Premier League. You've got to be connected. No, I've seen him in the World Cup. I haven't seen him in the City kit. Like I haven't seen him. I mean, I don't think what I watched City games. I've seen him play. This, I've seen him play once yeah. this season. But for me, yeah, Kanji, well, I, I think he should be higher. You know. Because I, I, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking about him and Saliba. The top four is very difficult. Is he? Le he's left-footed. Is he? Le right. Oh, and this is what shows me he didn't pick him because he hasn't even watched him. Bruv, this is <laughs> this is when they he bring, I, I, he, I, hey, you he brings our on, journalism bro. down. That's no, when no, they call no. us not journalism. Oh, wow. Or, or yeah? maybe, or no maybe. No journalism. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, he does the, <laughs> What's he doing? That's limited edition. Mad. Um, Baba, I hear you. You're entitled to your own opinion. And I'm not judging you as a person. You're still a great person. It was a question. However, it was a question. <laughs> however, sometimes feel no, free. It was, a, it was a question. Feel free halfway to just be like, you know, what, boys. Yeah, got no, no, no. Back, I asked Honestly, you a question. Bro, don't be like Tigo. No, but I asked. Don't him. be like Tigo. No, no, no. The crowd always throws stones at this guy for not saying my bad. No, no, You'll no. You'll be next. No, no, no. I've watched the Kanji. The thing you said is, oh, you don't watch him. You know, I watched him. I did. I didn't know if he was left or right footed. But that's, he plays left back. That stinks though. He plays left back. Okay, cool. Heavily right footed. Okay, fine. But he plays on the left hand side, so that means heavily right footed. No, no. So Sivo, that means he's that good. I mean, he should even be there. No, but he don't even really open up with his. Left that like good. that, like you oh, don't yeah, see him playing on his left foot. No, because he, he could ping it on his left foot. We pass on the foot. Take it on, Mo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hey, uh, Miles, uh, get to me next week. Get to me next week. <laughs> um, Miles, you're having a blinder. I appreciate it. But I just stand on what I say. Uh, Memo Kanji, he's great at maths as well. I'm gonna bring it up every time his name comes up. I think it's super fast. And crazy. Yeah. I'm watching something on uh, Apple TV. Oh god, That's you pay for maths. Apple TV? I don't know. I had it until yesterday. Oh, That's about maths. It's it's actually about. It's like the future and the past. It's like Star Wars. Oh, I get it. Redem not redemption. Uh, um, a foundation. Yeah. It's good. I started watching it. It's, it's good. The main math guy and all that. Oh, oh, too much for good. me. Is it good? It's good. Should I well, carry on? The thing is, everything about, yeah. What it's episode are you on? About three, but Felix is Oh no, I'm there. I'm, I'm free as well. So it drops off here. It was beginning to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You're just like Miles. Yeah, yeah, you haven't yeah, yeah. watched it. Cause. No, but I'm saying it's heavily based off math, you know, and it's what the universe is based off, you I know? A lot of Man City's defend my, my defending is based on math. My lucky number is 25. Why? It's not your lucky number, it's the day you were born. Yeah, but it's everywhere. It's on my birth certificate, it's, it's just everywhere. It's just <laughs> 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 It's on the back of the, of the PSG top. It's just everywhere. <laughs> I get it. Today's the 25th, you know? Oh! Wow. It is. Today is the 25th. Something, something special is going to happen, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wow. hey. Tape. I'm getting tape tonight. Maybe this is what's going to be special. Number three on our list. And he had votes from everybody. Felix had him number one. Lippy had him one. Lumos had him number one. Greg had him number one. You can guess who he is. William Saliba. William Saliba. Big William Saliba. Listen. Not number one for me. Boys, he is terrific. He's so good. But he can't be above... The top two. The top two. It's fine. Let's talk about him though. Okay. But yeah, no mistakes. Actually, yeah. Hard on the ball mistakes. Defensively, I don't no, see mistakes. No, on the ball. On the ball, he's doing- I saw him the give the ball away. Yeah, I saw him get, yeah. no, he's got it. He's got it, but I've seen him yeah. lose the ball a lot. Retribution is quick though. I've seen a couple bounces when they shouldn't bounce. Yeah, it's the, the, the get back. The, re the retribution quick. Get back. He makes a mistake and yeah. he's there. He yeah. fixes his mistake. I, f I think by the end of the season, he's number one. Ooh. No, oh, I don't know. I can see it. There's a deception. He doesn't look fast. But he is. He, but he's yeah. fast. He's got a weird way of running. You know, it's, it's a centre-back who's fast is more about acceleration than it is speed. 
if you can get to your top line speed in two steps, which is what he does, you look very, very fast. Because he doesn't need to be fast over 15 steps. He needs to be fast over two, three steps. And he's, he's reading he's reading, Absolutely. The, he's reading the mistakes yeah. before it happens mm -hmm. as well. So I know his adaptability is 20. I know. He's very good. Three at the back for Marseille. He comes at Arsenal four. And it's just the same syllabus you know, the whole time. I'm not going to lie, boys. He's elite. He's so good. I've only seen one person embarrass him when that was oh, a dumb story. Do you know who's had a stinker with him though, I reckon? Arteta though. I don't think they get I don't, I don't think Arteta believe, I, I think somebody had to show Arteta how good he was. Mm. Mm. He wasn't supposed to Possibly. play. Possibly. He wasn't supposed to play. Why did you say that? Ben White. He was go supposed to be Ben White and, yeah, and then you got an injury right back. Yeah, and, and he, he came in. Because right he, he usually got alone again. If you if you follow like a lot of like the, the insider journalists, they say that Arteta and Saliba, their relationship is like... Up and down. But it's not good, apparently. It's not a strong. He needs to make that better, man. Madrid. Because he's our best I remember, player. like years ago, we were talking about him here, and T was saying it was bad business because we were considering putting him back out on loan after he'd been on loan for two years. So he's definitely proved Arteta wrong. Maybe Arteta's the problem. Right, it's a good thing, boy, because if he went and done what he's doing at another club and we sold him, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna lose him. Yeah, no, yeah, we know I, that. I can see in his face. He wants he wants a nice mansion you know. in Madrid. Somewhere. You can't keep on him. You can't keep that player for that long. Is his system? No, no, nope. nope. he's incredible. Three or four. He is born with it. Yep. Okay. Because he was doing it on loan. He's me. In France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against Mbappe and the he's PSGs and that. No, when I, football. No, no, he's not you. Football. He's not you. He got in the team of the year. Do you know what I like about him? When, you, when he gets dragged out, which is very rare in the Arsenal team, when he gets dragged out into, bruv, there's only one winner. Like, and I, I have to hold my hand up. I gave him some stick. Um, said he wasn't even that great on the ball and all of this. This is only a year ago. He's, I think he's, I made he's, a mistake. He's incredible. He got, he got, um, Margs, Margs always talks about the game against uh, City where Haaland drew him out a few times and got the better of him. Other than that, I don't, he doesn't go beyond the ball. And I think there's a lot of centre backs that will misjudge either wide or in the air, go beyond the ball. He dominates his space. He's great standing tackle. He's great with that short tackle. He's great tackling across his body. Good pass off. Yeah, or just, just, ta just talking defending stuff, just defending stuff. He, I don't see a fault in his game. He's the new Van Dyke, man. And because he's not afraid to step out. That's what I like. I, I like it when a defender is ready to be like, all right, cool. The danger's in front of me. I can't keep backing off. He, he, like, he'll actually go and do what Van Dyke usually sends someone to go and do, but he does it without being sent to do it. Like, he actually goes and presses it. I rate him. Because I think I made a mistake here. Where okay. did you have him? I had him third. No, that's not bad. But I want him second now. I had him, I had him second. I don't think you could get him second. I think you can. Well, number two on our list is, and he was voted for by everybody, Dan and Geordie still have him number one. Speck still has him number one. He's got a ponytail. His name's Virgil van Dijk. Boys, you know he's been defending by himself Did for you? a long time. Yeah, and he, they keep switching his centre back. <laughs> no, he has, he has. No, he is, he has. <laughs> I've never seen a centre back by, just by himself, just doing everything. Yeah, bro. Because like, all his partners keep changing. He's doing everything. He's man. been he's been working alone for a long time. I was watching. I think it, I, I can't remember who was saying it. I think it might have been um, Troy Deeney saying that he's the only player he's seen carry the ball out in the Premier League and tie his ponytail up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> just have he's the that good. <laughs> But it goes to show you about defenders that, that haven't got much playing up on them. Before, you used to get chased. Like I was listening, I was talking to T the other day about listening to um, uh, one of my friends was doing an A license coaching and uh, they had all these guys on there talking about triggers and there was like three different triggers in my day. He just sent her off, the, the, the striker. Closed it down, he showed him the line, he played it up the line, so you know what I mean? So you wasn't, he was getting chased down every time from the striker, but now, you can bring it out. So yeah, the ponytail thing is not surprising. I just realized he's second. I've never seen Van Dijk slide. Doesn't need to. You know, that's well, again, favorite. that's a Saliba thing as well, though. He will slide when the ball is very far out wide yes. to knock it out of play. Yeah. Yeah. This, is Mal, this is Maldini type of defending. That's my favorite that's defender. That's how most great centre backs are. People now, that don't yeah. slide. But, but the thing is, the re and like Tigo said with Saliba, when he, he pushes that out for a throw on, it's Van Dijk more times not even in that situation. He I doesn't don't need to slide. I don't want to agree with you. To be honest, I don't, anything that you're saying, anything that you're saying, it can't be <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like what you said today. <laughs> it's such an ad on what I'm saying. Like, we're cool today. We're not cool. Is Van Dyke still Van Dyke? <laughs> he's had a bad. He's day. had bad. He's got worse circumstances. Like there was no DM for Liverpool for a little while. Trent's a little bit questionably defending, and even Robertson was a bit questionable. But I think under the circumstances, he, Van Dyke is still doing what Van Dyke does. I think he's still Van Dyke. And then a lot of the time he's just a victim of his mates, man. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, his mates That's are killing him. Man. You tried to make the other guy a victim. You. He isn't. 
Yeah, but the other if they, pff, sorry, quick side note. We got three centre backs here. Four if you had done. I'm not a centre back. You're, you are now. I'm a John Stones. Which one of you is the slider? Oh, I love sliding. I was slide. a slider. I love sliding. Is it? You're too tall to be sliding, man. That's the whole point. When he slides, you just get out of the way, give the ball. <laughs> if I slide the ball and you're there, <laughs> you and then the scene coming sideways. <laughs> <laughs> He slides What's a lot. What's it called? The, the, alli- the alligator oh, in the yeah. wall, but it's a moving alligator. I don't slide. I'm a standing. T- I want the ball. I'm a midfielder. I don't want to slide. Sliding, you don't. If that man gets past, you don't see that man again. You look like one of them guys that send the ball at the stadium. Hundred percent. Yeah, I thought so. And pretend you didn't. Yeah. What you had one game at centre back, now you're centre back. Two. <laughs> What's going on there? He's offended. <laughs> hey, you're you're not happy, are you? When age decides you're a centre back, there's no going. But it's back. not because of age. He said. Of course, it's age. It's, it's age. It's, it's age. But listen. I think I always knew I've got the ability to do it. It doesn't matter what level. <laughs> Did Van Dyke, when Van Dyke was sent off against Newcastle the other day? Um, circumstance. He's mates. It was circumstance. He's mates. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. He's, he's, Trent, he's Trent had Trent him in trouble in. a lot yeah, in that yeah. first half. Yeah. Trent put him in it. A lot. His mates killed him, bro. Because he got something. Yeah, it is. Because he got something from the first 28 minutes. And I don't, and I don't think it was a penalty. That red card, that red card too, was his fault. I don't think it was a penalty. I think it was a pen. Sorry, I don't think it was a red card, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a pen, though. He admitted it after the game, though. Shut up. <laughs> no, yeah, I hear it. Admit, admit, admit it. Admitted what? I sh- he should have got sent off and apologised. Oh, okay, that's fair. Cool, it was fair a red enough. card. Yeah, no, but the red card was... He probably won't admit this, but it's cause it weren't his fault. When is... It was my man. You know Van Dyke is going to watch this now, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I doubt it. All right, but so... Wait, hold on. No, he's going to tell you watches it. Come he's on. Like, oh, uh, filthy fellas have put the top 10 centre backs out. I better go watch it. T, come on. He ain't got nothing else to do. What else is he going to do? He's, he's, on board. Th- he's thinking, let me, he let me wait for a filthy fellas title that I ain't going to be in. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm watching. Do you reckon he's subscribed? It's possible. He wa- but he watches the show. I know his cousin's subscribed. Who never had a number one? Uh, me. And well, you? Every, well, only three right, so people. You... Only two people had him number one. So what do you mean? Who's, who's the two people? Uh, Jordy and Dan. What? I never had a number one. Yeah, yeah, and you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, few. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, well, what's going on here? Just wanted to follow him. <laughs> yeah, I, to me, he's like he's still number one because of who he is. But I've got to look at the evidence in front of me and say, do I rank rate what he's done in the last twelve months as being the best centre def- no, defender? But, in the league? You know no, I can't. I can't. It's yeah, but you, just, but you know sorry. why you should? Because he is a man that will b- play with a broken Mr. Tarsal and not sit out. I also think we get the but same version of him at every team. I think every team we get to see him. Yeah, no, but he's the best. He plays through pain, no painkillers. I think he's back this season. Kurt Angle used to take 50 per- uh, But Ben White plays through pain. What are we going to do now? Painkillers for his neck, Kurt Angle. He told Joe Rogan. Yeah, but, the, but, but and that's fine, but- the It's not ev- fine. It, 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 it's not, no, it's not. <laughs> no, but, but, ev- but it affects the evidence. It's, <laughs> it's, it, is, it is a thing that affects evidence. It's like so dumb. starting with Matip one week, then Gomez, then Canate. That's going to affect his numbers and his performance and his visuals. If I'm well. honest, there is the, uh, you, we, have, we do have to stop giving him leeway now. I don't think we have to stop giving him I'm leeway. I'm giving him more leeway now than I did before. I felt like he was defending in a cowardly way before. Ah. They always concede first. What do you, you know? mean? What do you mean? As, in, you as mean. in, I always would think that he would back off and he would wait for you to commit, which is clever, but usually in the meantime, he sends Gomez out there to get ripped and then the ball's under a bit of pressure and then he steps Yeah, in but that's good defending hero. though. It's clever. Because he can't defend, you can't rely on Gomez getting I always thought it made him look like the hero and now there is no hero. I can just see it for what it is. It's just Batman, yeah. no Robin. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yeah. Well... Oh, I don't even want to hear this, man. Let's stop now. Thank you number for watching. Number one on our list is number one according to PK, Margs, Steve-O, Miles, Antigo. Specs didn't have him in the top 10. He's the only other person that could have been above Van Dyke in this list for me. It's Ruben Diaz. Specs, you didn't have him in your top 10. <laughs> did you? <laughs> How did you not have him in your top 10? What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. I just like... He's a legit centre-back boss. No. Like, like Van in the in the mold, not not as much of a ball player as Van Dyke, more in the Botman mold than the Van Dyke mold. But he is an elite centre. I realised something. I realised that's, that's why I didn't pick him. All right, go on. I'm a, we're centre backs, right? I'm not there yet. But we got we got centre backs, like left back and right back, and we got like two DMs in front of centre us. backs in front oh, of man's us. Man's protected. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I don't but like I this you. protected oh. thing, man. Bailiffs are not going to get me in a, when I'm in hell in a cell. You did pick a Kanji though. No, Akanji's different though. Why is Akanji, different? Akanji for me is like, gone. He like, he does more. No land. So he defends and yeah, can take the ball yeah, out. No, and that's stuff. Fair. That, but, Diaz on the but ball. Diaz is a real centre back. Diaz for me is Rodri at the back. Yeah, 
I hate Diaz. Hey boys, this protective thing we that keep saying ain't the most oh, ain't top centre halves over the years at the top teams always been protected if they've got like who? four centre backs, bro. Five four. centre backs. All right, let me give you an example. All right, I'm going to say this. I'm, uh, this is what I believe, and I want you to think about what I'm saying. You take Diaz out of that team and put him in a Liverpool team and put him in Van Dijk situation. Works still. I it's believe it works. It's not no, working. I, I, re- I, I hear that. On who Diaz? Diaz can't do what Van Dijk. Diaz in Liverpool. I don't really see much off days from Diaz, you know. So who's the boss defender then? We're talking about the boss. No, the boss Diaz baby. Is to me. I don't. No, see that's off a days. Bo- rubbish film. Boss defender. I need to see boss baby. No, don't watch boss, boss baby, man. I'll do it. Maybe watch that twice. But Tiga made a good point. Baby's this list. He said the much. last. You say twenty-three months or twelve months. Has he been? Has Van Dijk been the number one? He hasn't. No, but do you know why? Because, like he said, Canati. Oh, because of his big injury. Yeah. Th- Matip and all these guys, they just keep. Do you know what it is? I I hear what you're saying, but I just I can't. Diaz is like, Diaz is ice cold. It, was, it, it don't really matter which way you have it. It's one and two. That has to be one he's and two. He's not ice cold. He is, he is. He just is. looks ice cold because he he's there. No, yeah, yeah, but he's always there. He's one. He's the one to me that stands out as a- Oi, all right, watch this. Specs, no, watch, watch this. this. You watch through selfages. T go on your right, T go on your left. Everyone's going to look at you and think, oh, who's that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Who's that? He must be serious. But that's because they don't recognise you because you got two centre backs. Specs. <laughs> two <laughs> centre backs. Who's centre the right back, back playing centre back? Do you think you could put Joe Worrell where where Diaz is? Yes. Around all his mates. In City, yes. Joe Worrell's alright though. But, but do you think you could put Joe Worrell there? No, he's not really Diaz. Nah. He no, but be really there's Diaz. a lot of centre backs you can put in that City system with centre backs beside them. And Joe Wall will look like the boss baby. And after a year, we can the rank them number one. for two episodes, two, 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 two series. It's, it's got a whole, it's got loads of films and spin-offs, everything. Alec Baldwin. I don't know, bro. Two Alec Baldwin's boss, that's, that's, that's Alec Baldwin's boss baby. Alec Baldwin's boss baby. Fuck. You know Alec Baldwin's a family guy, yeah? No, he's, he's not. He's um, Stewie in <laughs> family guy. <laughs> you know Alec Baldwin has uh, got a case? Boys, we've reached the end of our episode. The top 10 is... Don't worry, Lewis man. It's just Dunk, cheeky, man. Raphael Varane, Gabriel, Thiago Silva, John Stone, Sven Botman, Manuel Akanji, William Saliba, Virgil van Dijk, and Ruben Diaz. Boo. Thanks for coming. Mm. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Revelations is coming.